Welcome back. It's the holiday season. I've got my holiday shirt on. So I thought I'd make a holiday roast. This is a Costa Rican pierna de cerdo recipe that's basted with cola. Now, typically this would be a roast ham, but I'm not feeding an army this year, so I opted for a pork shoulder. The flavor might be a little different, but it should still turn out pretty nice. This is a three kilo shoulder that I'm gonna prep by removing any skin and excess fat. Then I'll go ahead and score it to allow the marinade to penetrate. Usually you just pierce the meat with a knife, but I like the pattern you get from scoring it, especially when it crisps up in the oven. Now for our marinade, let's roughly chop up an onion so it fits in our food processor. Along with that, I'll add a teaspoon of dried oregano. Strip the leaves off a couple of rosemary sprigs and throw those in as well. As well as a few pinches of salt. Some freshly ground black pepper. And a whole head of peeled garlic. This older garlic tends to peel pretty easily, so you can usually just squeeze the cloves to release the paper. And since it is old, I'm gonna remove the germ from the middle to avoid any acrid flavors. And if you're doubting the need for this, uh, go ahead and do a side-by-side -side of the germ versus the rest of the garlic. Just a little bite, you'll see what I mean. Dump those guys in and add about 30 milliliters of yellow mustard, as well as 250 milliliters or about a cup of orange juice. Go ahead and blitz that till it's smooth. and be sure to taste it for the balance of flavor, adding in more of anything that seems to be missing. Now let's transfer the pork into a large bowl and pour on the marinade, spreading it around to make sure that it gets in all those scores that we made earlier. Cover that up with some plastic wrap and throw it in the fridge for a few hours or preferably overnight. All right, now that the pork has had time to marinate, let's add some aromatics to the bottom of a baking dish. I've got another roughly chopped onion. A few stalks of celery. And a very large carrot that I'll chop into equal size pieces. I like to make sure that the pieces are similar size between all the vegetables so that they cook evenly. That may mean adjusting your chopping from one end of the carrot to the other end. Now let's place the pork on top of that bed of vegetables and pour the marinade on top. Cover it up with some tin foil, which will prevent it from drying out and throw it in a preheated 175 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit oven. We wanna cook it one hour per kilo, so for me that's three hours. At 30 minute intervals, let's baste our roast. So remove that tin foil and ideally you have a baster, but I just use a spoon for this. Go ahead and drizzle the marinade and drippings on top of the roast. And next comes the cola. We wanna use 500 milliliters or about two cups of cola across our five bastings. So drizzle on about one-fifth of that total amount and throw the roast back in the oven. As it continues to roast, we'll baste it four more times, each time doing the same thing. And towards the end, you may notice that a lot of the drippings have filled up your baking dish. Feel free to drain those off or make a gravy out of them, but either way, we want to remove them from the pan so the bottom of the roast doesn't get soggy. Finally, after three hours, go ahead and test the temperature. If it reads 68 Celsius or 155 Fahrenheit, then we're ready to go. Remove it from the oven and let it rest for about 10 minutes before slicing it up and serving. So 
So what can I say except that this is just a great pork roast? You've got some acidity from the citrus, you've got some herbaceousness from the rosemary and the oregano, and a little sweetness from the cola, which actually kind of works to balance out the rest of those flavors. So if you're looking for a different kind of holiday roast than the one that you're used to, I suggest you give this one a try and let me know in the comments how it turns out. Now I'll be taking a week off for the holidays, uh, so have a happy and safe new year, and I'll see you guys in 2021. Cheers.